Elvis' movies still have an influence on today's musical generation. David Michael Spear is a young up-and-coming singer who has written and recorded a song called Elvis Movie. Spear says those films really spoke to him. I want a girl that makes me feel like I feel like I feel when I'm watching it. Elvis Movie. I can't explain it, but it so feels groovy. Wish I could be in Presley TV so I could steal his lead. And it would be such a sweet surrender when I shake my fingers and sing, love me tender. He's very energetic, um, which I liked a lot. Very rock and roll, which is good because it takes away from, you know, the whole pop scene. He's a little different. I like that a lot. He always got the girl. He always drove the coolest cars. And everything in Elvis movies were just perfect, you know? And now, He used to go swimming and come out of the pool and his hair was perfect. Nobody in an Elvis movie had a zit, a hair out of place, a it's broken amazing. tooth, any of that. So they were like the children and the sound of the music. I, they were, so I said to myself, man, I want a girl that makes me feel like I feel when I'm watching an Elvis movie. And He's talented. Um, I understand he writes his own song, so that's something to be said about that this day and age. He's excellent. But for one brief moment in time, I. David Michael Spear was the king, and I wrote, uh, you know, I wrote Elvis movie. But how long ago was that? I wrote that. I started. I, this, the incident happened in '99, and I started writing it. And you know, it's nice to bring back that old feeling of like his old movies. And uh, I wasn't around, you know, during original movies, but certainly, you know, to, to watch them as a kick. And when I wrote the song, I didn't even think about an anniversary. I just was inspired and. Uh, actually, I'm much more than just uh, an Elvis, about Elvis movie. I am an artist within myself. Yeah. Uh, you'll hear that I'm actually, you know, a writer and a writer of many songs. She's fine, so fine. I'm on fire when I rewind. That sexy scene, you know what I mean. I want a girl. Much of the, these songs that are on this CD uh, have a couple of Elvis's original musicians on it, don't they? Yeah, uh, actually, Mickey, um, uh, I used Reggie Young, guitar player for Elvis, who played in the ghetto, and, and that was actually Elvis's favorite song, and I used David Briggs on keyboard, and what a kick to work with those guys because it actually gave me a feeling like I wondered, you know, I said myself, this must to work with those guys to do a direct link to Elvis, man. Yeah, a couple yeah. of them had actually been in Elvis's band yeah. at various times during his career. Did you ever hear of yeah. Reggie Young, the guitar player? Have you heard of him? Yeah. He played in the ghetto. Yeah. and So that was really amazing and I was blessed to have his players. Wish you a lot of luck. Um, may I say I'm a little bit nervous? Well, you shouldn't my, my be. Because... He's twitching a little. Okay. <laughs> I think that's why the king started twitching. Because he was nervous. Uh, try it. Try to twitch that leg a little. See, he's nervous too. Through osmosis, I got it. Thank you very much. But that guy, the singer, was incredible. And thank was really God Larry Hoff was not singing. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, here's David Michael Spear again, and this time he's going to sing one of his own tunes. That, well, the first one was his own as well. Another of his own tunes. This one is called Somewhere Under the Ice. David? Someone must have hurt you real bad. I can't seem to break free. Someone must have ripped you in half. Left me so black and blue. Very creative. I think it really hits the spot. I think it's just waiting for him. I really think it's waiting for him. The market is there and uh, he's unique. He really is unique. There's something hot going on. His voice, his mannerisms, it honestly made me feel the same way. It made me, you know, excited. <laughs> Won't you let me set you on fire? Come on, take a chance with me. Try a little spoonful of bullseye. And he today at Planet Hollywood in the center of New York City. Hollywood, Elvis movie. This is it. This is it. And what are you hoping for today? I know you'll be performing. There's a lot of press here, uh, a lot of newspaper people. What do you, what, what's the best case scenario for you here today? That the world hears me. That the world hears me. Even the universe. Yeah. Spiritually, that just... I just think that my music could spread... Uh, good vibes to the world and people and I think that a lot of my music has really good feelings to it and I hope to bring that back to the music world Unlock all your emotions baby and let me in You gotta trust somebody and pay some to love Part of the whole thing for you as well. And this person, little persona, it's a very refreshing persona, it's very new. You put the deep freeze on me, baby. Shield me right to the bone. Gotta get beneath the surface, but I can't get there alone. I want to wish you a lot of luck. Um, may I say I'm a little bit nervous? Well, you shouldn't my, my be. Leg because... is twitching a little. Okay. Bit. I think that's why the king started twitching. Because he was nervous. Okay. Right? Try it. Try to just twitch that leg a little. See, he's nervous too. Through osmosis, I got it. <laughs>